In Upper Darby, investigators are looking for a gunman who opened fire at a funeral luncheon. One person was killed and three others were injured. Action News reporter Caroline Goggin now live for us at the police department there. And Caroline, we know that you have some new video of the incident. Yeah, sorry, this new video shows the moment that that shooting happened. Police here in Upper Darby tell us this all stems from an incident in South Philadelphia that led to a fatal shooting in Clifton Heights last week and to another one here in Upper Darby last night. This surveillance video captured the moment a car pulled up to an Upper Darby event space on Monday evening. A passenger got out, shot into the building, hopped back in the car and took off. Four people inside the building were shot. One of them was killed. You can imagine it was chaos. When this individual walked up and started firing into the building, no one inside knew what was going on. Upper Darby police say this happened just after 5.15 on Monday evening on the 600 block of Long Lane. 50 to 100 people filled the space for a luncheon following a funeral for a man who was killed Thursday night in Clifton Heights. Rowena Falk owns the event space and the daycare next door. As soon as I went back in there, boom, 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 boom. So I dropped to the floor. The maintenance guy ran in the bathroom. I ran in the back, and all I hear is people running out back screaming. Police say one man died at the scene. Three other people were rushed to the hospital, one of them in critical condition. I just was speechless. The family was screaming because they just had a tragedy. Police believe the shooting was in retaliation for last week's killing in Clifton Heights. 25 year old Birchard King is accused of murdering his uncle, 39 year old James Ford, after a fight over a car. King was arrested on Monday. Right now, police are looking for this dark colored Chevy Malibu as they try to track down the people involved in this latest act of violence. They're cowards that would do this. Who, who would walk up? and just fire into a building having no idea who is inside there. And police just told us that that victim who was in critical condition is now in stable condition. Police tell us at this time no arrests have been made and they are asking anyone with any information about last night's shooting to give them a call. We are live in Upper Darby. I'm Caroline Goggin, Channel 6 Action News. Rick.